Yay! I thought maybe for a second I left my ca camera chip in my computer. Ah. Thinking about a couple things on my way here. First, I was thinking how I own this car and I don't owe any more payments on it, which has been for a few little bit. Little baby. And then I didn't bring the right stroller. We've got two strollers in the back, but not the right one. So one will work, but I don't feel like it. So we're just going to carry it. And it's rainy today. And I'm doing some landscaping and I'll show you a little bit of it, but, um, I like how when things have like a backdrop, like a leafy backdrop, I don't want to put vines on my house because my house is made of wood and I think that seems like a really bad idea. But eventually we'll have a fence. Ugh. Eventually we'll have a fence. So, I'm taking you with me really. Uh, eventually we'll have a fence that I can do that on but I think I'm gonna plant some bushes on the front of our house, like towards, like towards the front. And then it'll set up as like a backdrop. Cause I like how that looks a lot. But we shall see. Isn't that pretty? It's time to Debbie. She's, we're here early enough that there's nobody here and it's raining out, so. It's probably going to be a little quiet. <laughs> well, what do you have on? What? A bow tie. Yeah, fancy shirt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Going on? I really like this necklace on you so much. I think so much. This black one. Like, it just mm. is, like, so good. It's like, good. like, it's not... The other necklaces are all very, very pretty, mm -hmm. but that like seems to bring everything. To the surface. No, it just like together so nicely. Your necklace combination, everyone makes me want to own this necklace. Although I own the pyrite ones and I wear them a lot. Mm -hmm. So, um, but the black is so pretty. Do I own a black one? I might even own a black one. <laughs> it just looks so good. I got to reshop my out necklace. Of your jewelry. Yeah, you probably did. Mm -hmm. uh, found it. But I like, this is one of my favorite necklaces, this diamond necklace that Debbie owns. Oh, the sun? Yeah, the sun is yeah. so pretty. Everybody should have a sun. Because we have a cloudy day today, and then you're wearing the sun. I wish Lisa would make, um, like, uh, like a teardrop. A teardrop? Yeah. Like M&J Sabbath used to make, but maybe bigger. But how hers are kind of like puffy a little bit. Mm-hmm. That'd be good. Wouldn't that be really pretty? It'd be really good. I don't mind it flat either. No, yeah. but I like how she does like things like a little bit more dimensional. Her diamonds are always like super nice quality. And then more dimensional. Yeah. Uh, we could talk. Oh, I'll have to call her in a couple of minutes. I'll ask her about a teardrop. I think we have discussed it before. Yeah. Because we did so well with that teardrop we sold. Yeah. The real one. That yep. I owned it and someone wanted to buy it right off my neck, so I let them. <laughs> I've done that many, many I'm like, many well, it's times. my personal one. They're like, I don't care. It's a good one. It's a good one. I don't care. I think it's a necklace that Jennifer Aniston owned and gave it to her bridesmaids when she married yeah. Brad Pitt. Yeah, yeah. And now he's divorced from Angelina Jolie, so. I don't think he's divorced yet, is Well, he? getting divorced. Yeah, that's all bizarre. It's fine. I mean, how many kids did it have? Six? <laughs> Too many. Probably shouldn't get divorced when you have six kids. You should probably think it through. Well, I told Brian he stuck with me. Yeah. Just... Well, I felt like once we had a couple of kids, we were stuck. Yeah, you're stuck. You're stuck. You, there are certain ages you... If you get divorced, like, right off the bat, I think you're okay. Yeah. Then the kid never really remembers, you know, a family. But maybe if they're old enough, like, their kids seem old enough now that it might be okay. No. <laughs> You're at the wrong ages. Well, how old were you when your parents got divorced? Maybe 13. Was that wrong? No. In our situation, it was a good thing. So maybe... But in general, I mean, if it's really bad, if he was abusive or something bad was going on, then I'd say, go for it. Yeah, go so you see? There you go. So it but, could be like know, something... My dad was crazy, so 
I felt good about getting away, but uh, but then I still went crazy because you have one parent watching teenagers. That's pretty difficult. How many teenagers? Five. <laughs> there were five, five of us. Everybody. Just... When you, your parents got divorced, though, what did your brother do? Um, he initially lived with us, but then I think that was kind of tricky because Cause... you know we had to move into a pretty small space. Yeah. So we what... basically had to sleep in a closet. I mean, it was considered a bedroom, but I would say it's about the size of a closet. And, I mean, my mother didn't, she had a good job, but, you know, my dad didn't pay any support or anything because he just went nuts. And so she had to figure it out on her own, and she did the best she could. I mean, eventually we upgraded and upgraded and upgraded. But, but then my brother eventually went to live with my dad because he got remarried to a really nice, normal woman, and she tried to help him. Yeah. And um, so he did that for a smidge. Then he went right into. Was the your army. mom not a nice, normal woman, or were they just like? Don't talk. Don't. Um, I'm just know. asking, like, it, like you just said, this nice, normal woman. <laughs> oh. But oh, sometimes, my dad's yeah, new wife, yeah. Um, she just was somebody that my mom was more submissive and wasn't aggressive in. Like he, he had mental disorders, one schizophrenia. Yeah. So it was not minor mental issues like a little bit of depression or something. He was had seven different severe mental disorders, and um, a lot of paranoia. He thought he was, you know, someone's calling me, uh, or is that you? I don't know. That's you. It's fine. No, I wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> um, but anyway, so he was he was scary. It got to a point where it was scary. But yeah. he had a good job and everything. I mean, he could fake it. Could fake it. But you can only fake it at work. That's when you get home and you're mean or something like. Oh, he, he went crazy at home. So you know, and he thought he was in the FBI and the CIA. What is that movie that's about that person that was schizophrenic? They must have that same kind of mental disorder. Well, it must be paranoia is a huge paranoia. thing. Paranoia, yeah. Is it? Well, he had different. So you either probably think you're in it, or you probably think they're after you. Both. He he felt both. <laughs> <laughs> at one time, he was caught hiding under a car. Really? Yeah. That's pretty good. And one other time, he, well, many other times, he would come home and say, lock the doors, close the drapes, blah, blah, blah. You know, I'm like, geez, oh, man, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> but maybe he really was in the CIA. I don't think so, but he could have been. He was in the Navy. But which, maybe he that's probably what really... You should not go into the military if you have a smidge of mental illness. They, well, they probably tested. test that now, don't they? I doubt it. They need people in the military <laughs> so badly. <laughs> <laughs> that they probably just take whoever says, I'll go. Back then, that was World War II was going on. But so, didn't people want to be a part of it more often, like back then, than they do well, now? Well, people were really, um, I'm not sure I didn't live then, but I assume by what I hear and how it sounds, it seems like people were very patriotic. Well, that's what I mean, because you always hear, like, people's grandparents were in, like, yeah. you don't hear that so much anymore. I mean, even they benefited the arts during the wars, and they benefited um, a lot of um, a lot of things were made. But it was mandatory, and, wasn't it? Uh, there was a think, draft and stuff back then. There, They don't do that so much. Honest to God, I think he just went. I mean, I, <laughs> <laughs> he lived, his, he was an orphan. So his parents died when he was like 11 and 12, I think. Oh, just like daddy's parents. Just like daddy's. They could have been, I don't even know how they died. But there was a flood in Pittsburgh around that time. So they could have all died because of that flood. I have no idea. Daddy's dad, I think his parents could have been killed in that flood because he lived in an area where they would put the kids, which he basically lived in their apartment, I think, or maybe was even partially homeless. Um, pretty successful for starting out at 12, homeless or, you know. In yeah, an so, but your dad was an orphan too? He was an orphan. At, I think one parent died at 11 and one at 12. So he had a brother that was like 15 years older than him. Your or, dad or your... My dad. But that brother. sounds like daddy's story too. That, oh, I know. Is that I mean, well, so that's weird? Well, we marry people that mim mimic That's each so other. weird. When you say I'm Catholic, I'm be negative, I have green eyes, and you get married. <laughs> my parents were orphans, I'm an orphan. I guess people... That's really a, weird, isn't it? That's his, really his strange. Itself. The other thing is, is that his mother owned a salon. I went to beauty school. Yeah, that doesn't and count. And in a salon. I don't know. My dad was very artistic. He was a really, really good artist. I'm, I've had enough of you, or we're going to have... Here's my shirt that my mom...
Uh, this plant that I had gotten Debbie. What did it look like originally? I really like it. <laughs> like I want to get. I just. Yeah, that one is suddenly really growing. It's but do you like? Growing. I tried. I was trying to like kind of figure out certain plants. Like I have plants that look kind of like this, and you know how you can like cut them and then make more. I've never had success at that. I, I did that good. one time with a fiddle leaf fig, a ficus, mm -hmm. the one, mm -hmm. and it worked. But then I forgot to water it a little bit, and then mm -hmm. it died they're, they're pretty, immediately. They're but you got to really expensive. So, I've... but I like like uh, I have these really pretty plants that look like this at my house, mm -hmm. and they're called chalk stick plants, mm -hmm. and they're really hard to find. Mm -hmm. So if I could cut them to get more. That's mm -hmm. that's the only reason I would want to cut them is because it's hard to find more of them. Mm -hmm. But um, they grew like this, but then the bottom part doesn't look so good. So it's like I want to cut right. them and There's then plant them down. There's also a way to get them to grow more upward. These are probably going towards the light for some yeah. reason. I don't know. I like. But I'm good at taking care of them, aren't I? Yeah, like, I really like them. I have a, a real. Is this jade one? That's a jade plant. Jade is lucky. And it, jade is so easy. Do we still have that big jade plant in our backyard? At your house? Yeah. I repotted it at one point okay. because it was looking kind of sad. I, I did good with that one, too. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Thanks, Art. All of a sudden, these are growing like really hey, crazy. It's really neat. But I had one so, plant. Um, yeah, that one doesn't look as good, but it's still good. Got her orchids. Is, uh, Debbie's got all kinds of flower power in here. <laughs> All kinds of flower power. If you ever want to... My mom... Oh, look at that. They're two of the same. That one and that one. I think this one's a jade one. Most of these are ones I've bought her over the years. Felix! I have to feed him. I have to feed you, sir. Are you hungry? <laughs> are you hungry? I love you. Right, okay. Okay. Last night, we didn't have air conditioning. It was a little hot. Okay. The other thing that they want to go is a very good Oh my gosh. It's so rainy. How am I going to get to my car? <laughs> A little bit lighter so we ran to the car oh my goodness our furniture started flying down the breezeway and I'm like calling her because the one piece of furniture that I moved just decided to you know just take a little run for it oh my goodness okay she moved everything wow she's quick <laughs> she's quick I would have done more, but the baby hates the wind. And there was too much wind going on him. Not good. <laughs> I said in my other video that my washing machine and dryer wasn't working. But it was something to do with, what was it, Brian? Um, basically the voltage from the meter. FPL had to go replace their what's it called? Transformer. Yeah, and it was so sometimes if your appliances are feed. acting weird, how would you know most of the times? Like your lights start going dim? Um, some go brighter than normal. It's pushing more wattage into your house than what it calls for. Well, so Brian figured out what it was and then he called FPL and they came out last night and they turned off all our power on our block so that they could change out the transformer and basically our air conditioner went out yesterday too that's how we kind of knew everything was effed up <laughs> right you guys are cute look at your eye color look at me that's the color that takes over the eyes see how <laughs> yellow green it is that's Graham's eye color Felix is very blue but it's got that yellowish green in the center where it just is probably going to mutate. Yeah. Mutant genes right there, Felix. 
<laughs> I love you, little face. I love your big face too, Daddy. Oh. <laughs> remember how Graham would not smile with the camera being out? Do you remember that at all? He smiles every time. He's a happy kid. You're a good one. I'd pull out the camera and Graham would automatically like go, mm. <laughs> no more Still smiling. Does that today. Yeah, he does. He's a jerk sometimes. Felix just like his dad. Good. Felix is good, just like his mom. Look in the camera, Felix. Say hi. Huh. Now say good night, everybody. It's my bedtime, 7 o'clock on the dot. Yeah. <laughs> You'd think it was about 10 o'clock at night around here. Nope. Nope. We go to bed at 7 o'clock, right, Felix? <laughs> yep.